Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Camila and I am super excited to be here today and share with you my entire Chanel costume jewelry collection. So if you are a Chanel lover, then please keep on watching. So I'll start this video following a chronological order. I'll start with the very first pair of earrings in my collection all the way to the latest purchase. So the very first item that I have purchased from Chanel was this pair of studs in silver hardware with crystals. It looks so tiny compared to the earrings that I have right now, uh, but they are just so gorgeous. They measure approximately one and a half centimeters in width. I think they're just such a beautiful and practical piece. I wear this a lot. I wear this for work. Um, if I go jogging, um, if I'm very casual, but I want to have something that blings, that <laughs> makes me look more put together, this is definitely something that I would choose. And I think it's a great investment if you are looking for your very first piece, because this is such a classic, it will never go out of style. I remember I wanted it so badly at the time and I had gone everywhere looking for them and I couldn't find them. Um, and then I think a year after I was able to get it at Sloan Street. So I was just so pleased that I got it and I still am because I still wear it to this day. And I don't think I would ever get rid of this piece. This pair of CC studs were the second item that I have added to my Chanel costume jewelry collection. I purchased them um, in Dubai back in 2014 and at the time it cost me 1,260 dirhams, which is the Emirati currency. They feature this uh, yellow gold hardware detailing around them and the center is this black uh, resin. This piece is really different from the other studs that I have in my collection so I don't really get a lot of wear out of this because I personally find it slightly more tricky to match it with my outfits but I think it looks great whenever I want to be more subdued uh, but it still look nice so I wear this a lot for work for instance whenever I am wearing all black and I want to have something in my earrings but I don't want something to be very blingy uh, that's something that I would go for Another pair of CC studs in my collection are these crystal uh, CC studs. I bought this back in 2015 at the Mall of Emirates in Dubai and I paid at the time 1,370 dirhams, which is the local Emirati currency. These measure approximately 2 centimeters in width and it features the champagne gold hardware with mixed crystals encrusted all over the CCs. It has black as well as crystal clear rhinestones all over it. I think this piece is just so different and beautiful. Every time I wear it, I get compliments on it and it's such a fun little uh, piece to have. They are mid-size, they are not too small, they are not too large, yet they're very comfortable, they're very classy. I really thoroughly enjoyed this and I think it will be a piece that I will never get rid of. The only Chanel brooch that I have in my collection, um, it is a piece that I have picked up from the Chanel boutique in Dublin back in 2016, 17, can't really remember. I don't remember how much I have paid for them, but I definitely think that they were the investment. Um, this is in this light yellow gold hardware and it has pearls of different sizes around the CCs. It is just so delicate and beautiful and a very versatile piece. I have gotten so much wear out of this already and I'm 100% sure that I will be getting a lot of wear out of this piece for the future. Um, I love to style it with wintry clothes, with coats and jackets, on the hat, on the scarf. I have seen people styling it with uh, trousers as if it was the buckle of a belt and it looked so trendy and so nice because I think it's something that you can really get a great uh, wear out of and it's a good value for money in the sense that you are really going to be using this piece and make the most out of it. This very feminine and elegant looking pair of Chanel Dangly earrings are the first ones that I have purchased from the 2023 collection. 
I got them back in January of 2020 at the Chanel boutique in Sloan Street in London and I paid for them at the time £610. Now these earrings are just so beautiful, there's so many nice details about them uh, that make them so much more special. They feature these very vintage looking yellow gold hardware. The CCs are crystal encrusted. These earrings have a total measurement of 6 centimeters from the very top to the bottom and it has a dangling pearl at the bottom of the earrings. I just absolutely adore them. I feel very feminine and if I want to go for a very romantic vibe and wear a feminine nice dress, that's the earrings that I would have to complement the outfit. I think it is just so classy and beautiful. It is one of my favorite earrings. I have no much more to say about this besides the fact that I love them. This is the largest and probably most glamorous um, pair of CC earrings that I have in my collection. It is from the 2020 print collection. I purchased this at the Sloan Street store back in January of 2020. I am not 100% sure uh, about the price. I have misplaced the receipt for this one too. I'll try and get in touch with the store to see if they can afford me a copy of the receipt so I can add in the description down below for you guys. Now, these earrings feature a very large pearl at the top, which is surrounded by yellow gold hardware, and it has this large CC encrusted with crystals and pearls in this dark gun metal color hardware. The earrings measure approximately four and a half centimeters in width for the CC, and it has approximately four and a half centimeters in drop from the top to the bottom of the dangly part of the earrings. And it is very substantial in weight and in size. As you can see here in my ears, it looks very large and it feels very heavy. So this is something for you to take in consideration if this is a piece that you would like to add to your collection. They're very sparkly. They definitely are a statement piece that will get the attention. In my collection, I think that they're the, you know, the most glamorous piece personally and I absolutely love them. These are another pair of statement earrings I have from Chanel that I have purchased from the 2020 pre-collection. I got this back in February at Harrods store and I am not 100% sure about the price. I have misplaced the receipt. Uh, I believe I paid at the time 700 pounds but I will try and request a copy of my receipts from the store, so I'll insert it down here for you guys. But these earrings are just so beautiful, so they feature the name entirely in each side of the earrings, and they have different colors. So the first three letters on this side is uh, made out of the champagne light gold color, and the last three letters are made with uh, darker metal colors and have crystals encrusted in them. And the other side is the reverse, so it starts off with the dark metal colors and crystal encrusted and finish off with three letters in the light champagne gold color. They are very light and they have a total measurement of eight centimeters from the top to the bottom of the last letter. Now I would like to compare this with my other pair of Chanel earrings from the 2019 spring summer collection because I get a lot of questions from people. The one from 2019 uh, spring summer collection are much wider, the letters are much thicker and is just um, three letters in each side of the earring whereas in this one from the 2020 pre summer collection is the whole of the letters for the definitely Chanel. something that I recommend is a beautiful piece and I really enjoy wearing it and having it in my collection these are a large pair of CC dangly earrings from 2020 pre summer collection which I bought in the Chanel store in Harrods in February 2020 I paid 700 pounds for them. They are these beautiful large CC dangly earrings which feature a pearl at the top and large CC dangling at the bottom. They measure a total of 5.5 centimeters for the drop from the very top to the bottom here and about three and a half centimeters in width. Although they're quite substantial, they can be very comfortable to wear. They're not extremely heavy compared to these ones that I have here, for example, now. So I really can get away with wearing them for long periods of time without having any problems. I actually bought this as a replacement from another CC Dunley earrings that I had, which was a vintage item that I had initially purchased back in Dubai. Uh, but because they were clip-on earrings, they didn't really suit me very well and they're extremely heavy so I ended up 
selling those and then when I found this one I was extremely happy because they were exactly what I was looking for. The whole combination to me speaks Chanel pros with a very vintage look, a very statement piece but very classy, very elegant and I think they can be worn in so many different ways. They elevate so much an outfit that I have on and you can also wear them with a basic t-shirt and a pair of jeans and I think it would look just perfect. I think they are a nice investment piece. They definitely very expensive and I want to bring attention to the fact that these are not any precious metals these are only costume jewelry so when you pay this amount of money for those earrings for instance you're basically paying for the brand uh, for the name alone because they're not really worth that amount of money in terms of the material that goes into making these earrings however they are really a statement piece and when you have them on it makes you really look special uh, that's my opinion at least so if that's something that you're looking for and you're considering having something like this in your collection i do certainly recommend that and these bad boys here are the infamous and very coveted chanel from the runway of the 2019 spring summer collection i am just so pleased and over the moon happy that I was able to purchase this brand new from the Chanel store in Harrods back in February of 2020 and I paid for them 670 pounds. The version of the earrings that I have is the one in the plain champagne gold color and it has measurements of two centimeters in weight equally in both parts of the earrings and it has different drop lengths as you can see the sha is slightly shorter than the letters nel so the first side that features the letters c h and a measures approximately six and a half centimeters from the top of the letters C to the bottom of the letter A and it measures seven centimeters in drop on the other side from the top of the letter M to the bottom of the letter L. Although these earrings are a very large piece of bold and statement earrings as you can see I was surprisingly pleased with the lightness of these earrings. They are not that heavy and they're quite comfortable to wear for long periods of time. I'm really getting great use out of this piece um, I have contemplated also purchasing the ones with the crystals however they were really large compared to these ones they are massive so I personally don't think that they would suit me I'm a petite girl I have a small frame I think although I can get away with wearing this the other ones probably would be a bit too big on me there is a nice review made from fashionably Amy on her YouTube channel where she compares both of them because she does have both so if you're interested and you want to see that video you can go there and have a look I will link it down below here these are my Chanel crystals and gold hoop earrings which I purchased from the Chanel store in Harrods back in March of 2020 I paid at the time for these 440 pounds now I am not a hundred percent sure what collection they belong to I believe it is from the 20 collection but I could be mistaken but I just absolutely adore these earrings they have become very quickly the most um, worn pieces in my collection because they're just so versatile um, they're very lightweight they're very comfortable to wear and they're very practical pair of earrings they go with so many different outfits and although they're quite subdued because of the light gold hardware they are definitely a statement uh, in your ears they're very classy they're elegant and in my opinion this is the kind of earrings that you should definitely go for if you are willing to pay the high price for a Chanel earring and you want to be able to to invest in something that you can wear a lot you can get great wear out of a piece so it's more value for money that's the item that I would recommend I love it so much that I have even considered purchasing another pair of these earrings so I can have it as a backup in case something happens to this this is definitely one of the greatest pieces I've ever had I am 100% sure this will be one of those pieces that I would have forever in my collection addition to my Chanel costume jewelry collection was this pair of Chanel dangly earrings I just absolutely love them I think these are the most iconic piece in my collection I have purchased these earrings from the Chanel store in the first floor of Harrods in London back in March this year and it was literally the day before the shutdown happened I paid at the time for these earrings a total of 475 pounds 
The earrings feature ACC at the top with a number 5 dangling at the bottom. The earrings are made in this rustic looking yellow wool hardware and they feature clear crystals all over the earrings. In terms of measurements, uh, the CC at the top has a total of 2 cm in width across the CC and it has approximately 5.2 cm in drop from the top of the CCs to the bottom of the number 5. I'm still super happy that I have decided to purchase this item. I definitely think that this is a big winner. They are such a beautiful, girly, classy piece of earrings that I never see myself getting rid of. Now, I also think that the price for this item is at a great point when you compare this type of statement earring with the prices of other statement earrings from Chanel. So in that matter, I also think that I'm getting great value for money for the item for the price that I have paid for it. So that is the end of this video today, guys. Thank you so much for the time. I appreciate this video it is quite lengthy, but I have tried my best to include as much information about each of these items in my collection as I possibly could as a means to help you in your decision making in the case you're trying to decide whether or not you would like to add any of these pieces to your collection. I personally believe that it is really wise um, to really research about any investments that you want to make, be it a simple piece of earrings or any more expensive item, because you need to make sure that this item has the right features that you look for, that it definitely fits you, your lifestyle and your personal taste so that you don't have any regrets. With that being said, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Please let me know by clicking the like button below. And if you like to keep on watching videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please leave any comments and suggestions you may have, and I hope to see you again sometime soon in here. Keep well, safe, and blessed. Bye-bye now.